Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the month re monthly readings for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for the sun, moon, and rising of Taurus for the month of October 2017. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. Been shuffling for quite a while now. Um, if you guys are interested in private consultations, definitely look at the description box below you'll be able to find my contact information on there, okay? So let's see what spirit has for you, Taurus, for the month of October 2017. Who's excited about October? I know I am. <laughs> okay, this is going to be the last, okay, maybe not. I'm hearing two, so two more shuffles. All right, let's get into your reading. Taurus, you have the moon card, the five of cups, the page of coins, the sun card, the ace of swords, the tower, the ace of wands, wow, five of coins, King of Swords, whoops, Eight of Wands, Two of Coins, and the Queen of Pentacles, or the Queen of Coins. Your general energy for the month of October, Taurus, is the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands, as a general energy, you guys have been struggling for quite a while. I know this because I have many Taurus friends. I love you guys. You guys are amazing. Um, but you guys have been going through a lot of difficulties. For some, it may be a lot of material, um, meaning finances, uh, finance struggles. Uh, for others, it's emotional, so it comes to relationships, etc. A lot of shifts, a lot of changes going on for Taurus. But the good thing about this is that you have the Ten of Wands as a general energy. So the Ten of Wands is the Nines always speak about uh, endings, right? Uh, nines are always about endings and preparing to evolve into a new stage. Now, when you get to the Ten, the Ten is the finale. It's done. You've already passed that. You're no longer dealing with BS. You're no longer dealing with none of that. So again, the Ten of Wands in its purest form is the struggle has already been you've already succeeded those struggles you've already surpassed it because it is a general energy so again uh, for some of you guys that have been felt feeling a little bit burdened when it comes to love and romance or when it comes to finances um you know the ten of wands again like i said is it's done you are you are already coming out of that dark tunnel and seeing the light at the end of it okay so that's that's a good thing now the residue energy of how you're going into the month of October is with the moon so for a lot of you guys you guys are still wanting clarity in reference to something for some it could be relationship wise and for others it could just be um, tapping into your intuition and being able to uh, connect on a deeper level okay now, because the moon card is next to the five of, of cups, uh, this is being definitely um, still mourning the loss of a relationship or still dealing with uh, the ending of some type of relationship that perhaps you walked out of that relationship because there was no clarity, because there is a lot of uncertainties or a lot of things hidden. The moon is definitely a representation of things that are being kept from us and being hidden. So again, um, you're still dealing with that throughout, or I should say in the beginning of the month. But you do have the page of coins here. So there's definitely a message coming through. And it's a message that perhaps has taken a while to come through. This could be either finances or, again, like I said, it could be in regards to the relationship that you uh, currently ended because the Five of Cups definitely talks about, again, like I said, it's like the mourning, the, the sadness that comes from a breakup, etc. Um, but with this page of coins, it, it's a message that's coming through. Perhaps it came through very slowly. Uh, for some of you guys, maybe this was something drastic. Uh, the relationship ended very quickly and 
you kind of didn't know where you stood because perhaps for some of you, there was no ending. Like they just moved on. You heard about it or people told you, you know, this person is dealing with another person, etc. So it kind of came as a something you weren't expecting, like I said. So there was no ending there. Again, the page of coins is definitely a message coming through, but it's something that took a while to get to you okay now you do have the sun here and the sun is again like i said blessings the sun is all about here's the perfect example of synchronicities okay the moon is right at the beginning of the month by the end of the week you have the sun okay so the moon is everything that is hidden, everything that it, we don't know. It could be illusions. It could be how people present themselves to us, uh, that we trust them at face value, okay? And then the sun at the end, finally clarity comes in. Truth comes out. You're able to see people for what they really are. Again, like I said, for some of you guys, if you recently ended a relationship or walked away from a relationship based on the fact that there was no clarity, there was no insight, you definitely, uh, the first week of uh, the first week of October, you're definitely getting clarity as to why were they acting this way? Why were they so detached? Why were they, etc. cetera? Uh, you're going to be able to see that in a clear way. And when you do that, you're going to be able to understand why it was necessary to walk away from this relationship, okay? Now, you do have the moon here. And again, like I said, the moon is all about the hidden. It's all about the subconscious, subconscious but it, it is also about intuition and obviously night. Now, you do have the ace of swords under it. So the aces uh, are always about mental. But because it's the Ace of Swords, Ace of Swords is bringing clarity to a situation that perhaps there was a lot of confusion attached to it. Uh, Ace of Swords is all about truth and truth coming out or the truth finally reigning, you know. And then under it is the King of Swords. So this is you, Taurus. I feel that this is you uh, being very almost methodical in the way you deal with people for the month of October. So what I mean by that is... The Ace of Swords is all about truthfulness and clarity, right? You have the moon crowning the truthfulness. So the moon is all about hidden agendas and people not being honest or not being 100% with you or not telling you things, um, perhaps not even on purpose. They just don't feel that they need to tell you certain things about them. Now, the Ace of Swords, again, like I said, is all about truth and cutting to the truth cutting through the bullshit to be able to get that truth now under the king of swords the king of swords is all about a very analytical person again like i said very methodical they study your body language they you know listen to your words but also pay attention to your actions and i feel that this is you taking on these energies of the the ace of swords and the king of swords and it's coming off of the fact that you were deceived in the past that you were lied to or that things were hidden from you and you finally had this epiphany where you're like you know what from here on out which is a very taurus attribute of a very uh earth attribute i should say where you're starting to see clearly I need to focus when it comes to dealing with people. I need to be more practical about it. Instead of listening to their words, you're actually paying attention to what they show you with actions. So this is a beautiful thing. Now, again, you do have um, the tower here and the tower is right on top of the five of cups, which is the feeling of lostness or the feeling of mourning of a relationship or someone uh, that recently passed away. That was very unexpected to you. Uh, I think this is more in regards to relationships. Something you weren't expecting. Um, this could also be a representation of literal uh, mourning of, of a family or relative. Someone that recently passed away uh, or will be passing away um, within the month of October. Now, I don't... I The tower, when it comes to loss because it's it's next to the five of cups i feel that this has already happened um i'm hoping it already happened and not in a negative way but in the way of you know um i don't see i don't see the ten of swords here so i feel that this has already happened so again like i said it could be the physical death of a lover of 
a past um, of a relative, a family member, or something like that. Or it could be, in fact, um, the mourning and the loss of a relationship, okay? Now, I'm not trying to scare you guys. Like I said, I don't see the Ten of Swords here, so let's not jump into conclusions. Uh, it is a general reading. So let's keep it as light as possible. Like I said, uh, the Tower is definitely talking about, you know, the breakage, uh, the destruction of that, of what we perceive to be. So what I mean by that is, again, the lies and the deception, all of this, um, now you, to, now you, it puts you in a place where you're, again, like I said, approaching people or giving people opportunities to show you who they are in a methodical way. You're paying very close attention to the way they express themselves, but you're also paying closer attention to how they deliver what they're communicating, meaning how they act, what they show you through practical means, if they mean what they're saying, etc. Now, you do have the Eight of Wands here, and the Eight of Wands is very quick communication, very, very quick communication. So for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with an air sign. An air sign would be a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra. And this quick communication is coming back and forth, and it has to do with a new beginning. So it has to do with a new beginning. For some of you guys, this could be in the business front. So there's definitely an opportunity coming through with this page of coins here. Uh, and then you have the Ace of Wands. So it's a new beginning when it comes to action, when it comes to business in the business front or making money. So it could be, again, like I said, um, a message that you were expecting or that you were hoping to hear back from. For some of you guys that have been applying, haven't heard back from the, pe the people that interviewed you, the, it's, it's taken a while, but, you know, be thankful because that message is definitely coming through for the month of October. You're definitely being told uh, that you're getting the job or they're offering you an opportunity and it's up to you to make the choice if you want to go with that company or not. Um, and the reason I say that is because under the ace, you have the two of coins. So the two of coins is all about making a decision, balance, uh, making up your mind when, in regards to choices. So for some of you guys, you guys may be dealing with a fire sign or an air sign and it could be very much that you have to decide whether you want to go give the opportunity to the air sign or to this fire sign now the two the eight of wands also i do want to mention for some of you taurus the eight of wands is definitely talking about quick communication coming um coming to you and it could be in regards to an earth sign okay you have the queen of pentacles here now an earth sign would be another taurus like yourself a capricorn or a virgo now, if this person is from the past, that's the reason why you have the two of coins here. You're going to have to make a choice if you want to give the opportunity to the new person or if you want to waste your time uh, with the person from the past. Now, the reason I say waste time is because it's very clear here that there is a lot of deception and a lot of things from the past that no longer serve you. And you're getting the sun here. And with the sun, it's like you finally get clarity in regards to this person from the past but the five of coins i feel like y this person either comes back to you or ask you for an opportunity and you're gonna leave them ha uh, pretty much out to dry and because you have the five of coins here and the five of coins it could be that the person they were dealing with um perhaps left them out in the cold and that's the reason why they're coming back to you so my suggestion is move forward. If you're dealing with anyone from the past that comes back into your life uh, in regards to relationships and romance, do not waste your time. Do not give your, you know, do not give the opportunity to someone you've already given to many times. Move on from that. Grow from that and embrace new beginnings because there's definitely new beginnings for you, Taurus. You have two aces here. So aces are all about fresh starts, new beginnings, people coming in, opportunities coming in. Um, and they're very well deserved. So now for those of you guys currently that are in a relationship uh, and you guys have been struggling money wise um, with this 10 of wands here in the general energy, uh, there is a lot of things that were hidden, perhaps in regards to family. Um, so it could be people, if you guys currently, uh, not currently, but within the, a couple of months ago, recently had a, 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 you know, a family member, someone that passed away. Uh, this could have been tied to um, kind of that, that deal of, of dealing with what's left after 
you know, after they've passed um, in regards to money. There is a lot of deception. There is a lot of people taking advantage. For some of you, Taurus, it could be the fact that this uncertainty and, and this sadness that you're carrying with you has to do with family and, and loved ones that have betrayed you or taken advantage of you in the past. So the message here is very clear. The tower is a representation of something happening very drastically. So it could have been having the fallout with a sister, a brother, uh, a cousin, etc. But it's necessary. It's necessary because you have to get to a point where you have to worry about yourself. Make sure you're good. If all they're doing is taking from you and at the same time that they're taking, they throw things in your face like you should be doing things for them. It's your fault that they're depending on you because you've taught them that it's okay to take, take, take and also expect and that that in no shape, way or form is okay. So again, I feel that you definitely took a stand for yourself, Taurus. And through that, you're now left to deal with emotions. Um, again, the feeling of hurt. Uh, feeling like, you know, how could they have taken me for granted? Why are they being this way, etc. Uh, even in relationships, for those of you guys that currently broke up, like I said, at the end of the day, this is something you guys have to understand, okay? When people come into our lives, whether it's in relationships or family ties, whatever it may be, and you've been nothing but good to them, then that's good karma for you. When it gets to the point where they take advantage of that and not just take advantage, but also almost an expectancy like, oh, you had to do that for me, then you have to stand up for yourself and let them know like, no, I did it out of the kindness of my heart. And when that happens, again, it's necessary for you to let go of people that do not bring peace to you. OK, whether it's family, whether it's lovers, whatever it is, um, we have to make sure that we're good before we can help other people. And this is, again, like I said, with the tower, it's like whatever your perception was, it's going to quickly change. And you're going to be able to see it in a different way. Again, like I said, you have the Ace of Swords here and the King of Swords. I feel this is your energy for the month of October. So now, based on the fact that they've taken advantage or based on the fact that they have been ungrateful to you, you have to kind of almost come off as a little bit standoffish or a little bit coldish, but it's not that you're doing it on purpose. It's for your own safe, uh, safekeeping. It's for your own safety. It's for your own protection, for your own, uh, you know, protection of energy. At the end of the day, people that come into your life and they're quick to walk away, even if they don't say why they have, you know, we as humans naturally, uh, we're creatures of habit. So we're used to having people around, whether it's relationships or family members, like I said. And the moment that they walk away, it's like, if they don't give us closure, if we don't have closure, we feel like we have to wait and sit and wait and wait and wait until they come back and give us an exclamation, uh, explanation, sorry, for why they did what they did. And see, that's, that's the misconception of, 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 you know, of humans. They don't owe us any type of explanation. If they're so quick to walk away from that or from us, we must accept that, understand that even if we don't understand why they're doing it, we have to move on. And whether they decide to give you clarity down the line or not, that's okay because you've already like you've accepted it and you're okay with that and that's their karma to carry okay so i hope it makes perfect sense for you guys um comment like and share my videos if you haven't subscribed to my channel definitely subscribe and we will see each other in the middle of the month of october okay bye